This is ChatGPT, a language learning AI chatbot that generates dialogue based upon a user's prompts. Launched in November 2022 by OpenAI, the software has gone through several updates over the last two years, which have seen it improve at a rapid pace. AI software such as ChatGPT are capable of generating ideas, summarising texts including books and essays, as well as explaining complicated topics in simple terms. It is no wonder then that such a tool is already changing the way educators use technology in the classroom. At the moment we're looking at how we can use it as a teacher tool to help reduce workload, um, be more efficient with time. Um, in terms of how the, the students are using AI, we've, we're at very early stages um, in that process. So for example, I've used it this week um, to create um, some a presentation for our staff um, training programme. Um, I've used it to have a look at how we're using our school development plan. Um, we've used it to make the basic um, framework for um, an assembly PowerPoint. Um, but equally, running it out and um, pupils using it, um, it will be an efficient tool for them to use. And actually, we need the, the students to be able to use AI, otherwise we'll be disadvantaged in, in, you know, in later years when um, everywhere else will be using AI. So I've been, I've been using it, you know, to, to create text, to sometimes to ask him to, to give me ideas in terms of, for example, I want to develop some speaking lessons, what would you suggest me? Um, sometimes the suggestions are like really good, sometimes the suggestions are like, to be honest, uh, no value. I think you've got to be mindful that um, you do need to edit things, you do need to look at it, you do need to um, ensure that it, it fits the context of, of you know, where we are in the Falklands. Um, so yes, it's useful, but as far as myself using it, it gives me the basics to build from. It's not the finished product. I think that for retrieval practice, it can be absolutely amazing. I was uh, with my previous cohort of, of year 11, I was showing them ChatGPT and I was telling them, listen, you can put the questions and you can, you just need to put this prompt, like you are an expert in education, specialised in MFL and you are training, I want you to train me to do my oral assessment. These are the questions, so you can give me a set of questions, I'm going to answer, just type in and then I want you to give me feedback and to mark all the mistakes. That's a positive, a positive use, for example. Examples of how it can be used to support in the classroom. Um, you can very quickly generate questions around a topic um, and you know that is a good use of time. Um, but again, it's reliant on the teacher's professionalism and what they're asking the AI, the AI programmes to um, generate. Looking at an assembly project or topic and you can very quickly generate the, the sort of the the basics of what you want, um, whereas people, they procrastinate and can take hours over what they want the slideshows to look like, what colour the background's going to be. Um, you know, a very typical um, teacher fault, I think, that, you know, we overthink all of those things. So if you've got a programme that can give you that basic template, um, that would cut down hours um, of additional work and people you know, stay until six, seven o'clock in an evening um, to get the resources together. So I do think there's a lot of benefits um, in that area. I know that for other subjects there are the software that can give feedback on the spot, which again can be extremely helpful if you want to improve your job or it can be a very easy way to cheat. As a teacher, I know perfectly what my students are capable of doing. So I think that, that um, at this stage, I'm, I'm, I'm not very concerned with, with, with cheating, but I think uh, universities are having massive problems with, with uh, plagiarism, uh, with uh, people presenting ideas that makes no sense at all, uh, very famous quotes given to total different persons, because uh, at the end of the day, ChatGPT uh, is just a language model, and it can make mistakes, so I think that it can be a very tricky thing. I think the earlier that we start to look at, um, you know, sort of the moral implications and the ethical implications, um, and not dumbing it down. You know, we've got to be upfront and honest. Um, 
and you know our children they're like sponges they pick things up they'll they'll run with it um, and as we've just got to be honest and clear about the disadvantages of AI um, and the misuse of AI um, and that would um, you know we're looking at how we can build that into our um, sort of personal development programs um, so that um, we can use the tools safely but we understand the pitfalls of using them as well. You may have seen online or elsewhere in the news concerns being raised around the use of AI softwares. Things such as deep fakes, images or videos created in the software that through its learning models could create a original video of you, me or anyone else in the world and be very convincing. Employment and its risks to taking jobs has also been a concern raised by critics of the technology. Could we see a future where our youth are being taught solely by an AI? A lot of the research and things that you look at in terms of teaching and AI, um, you're never going to be able to replace teachers. You do need that face-to-face, -face, that, that human interaction. Um, it will be a useful tool. Um, I'm sure there will be um, teething problems um, within teaching where people become over-reliant on using AI. Um, I was fortunate enough to go to Peru to the Latin America Head Teacher Conference and um, the theme there was all around AI and how we can use it as an effective tool and it is part of a toolkit rather than replacing um, teachers and that sort of real life interaction and communication. We did some student panel interviews um, and they talked to us about how they were using AI in the classroom and they were very candid. Um, you know there was one of the students who um, when he'd first been introduced to AI, thought, oh, this is great, um, type it all into AI, um, my work's done for me, um, but he soon realised that actually you can tell when it's all, you know, sort of artificially generated, um, and the software and programmes, and particularly when you're looking at university level, that, that can see, that, you know, they can check it's been written by a programme as opposed to um, by the individual. Um, so we talked about how you could um, the, how you could use it as a teacher, what benefits you would have. Um, and again, it's about that engagement, it's about giving um, our students the, the tools to move forward and be able to um, work in a world where artificial intelligence will be um, a, a sort of key component in the workplace. Some, some people argue, some especially people who only see the benefits of, of, of artificial intelligence would argue that then the job of families and schools is to foster uh, non-cognitive skills or what people call like uh, soft skills, mm -hmm. like you know, uh, communication, empathy, leadership, but I'm thinking, okay, all these things you still need contact to people, you know, because I guess that sometimes we, we forget that uh, learning is not only pen and paper, which I'm, I'm a massive fan of pen and paper, it's the social interactions. We are, we are social animals and since you are a baby, you need that interactions to, to, to develop absolutely everything that you do. At the end of the day, I really want my students to leave school with a set of skills that are going to be valuable. I'm not sure if just going to any language model and typing something, you would get that. Again, going back to the conference, one of the things that all of the students that we interviewed said, um, they value the teacher interaction, that human interaction. And whilst they saw the benefits of being able to you know, type in um, some work into AI and get feedback on how they can improve, um, they said it didn't, um, it didn't match that face-to-face -face contact and they wouldn't want to lose that as well, nor would we as, as a teaching profession. Things have changed over time. When I first started teaching, we had overhead projectors and, and we wrote on acetate sheets to, to um, you know, project onto the wall, um, whereas we've now got smart boards and interactive boards. Um, the rapid growth in AI is, it's, it is scary when you look at what's happening. Um, and you know, they, at the conference in Peru, what they were saying is that over the next year, in terms of how fast it's developing, um, it will probably sort of move forward almost 10 years in one year because it develops so quickly. So, 
yeah, that is quite scary. I think, um, you know, we've got to embrace change and we've got to um, move forward into a future where we do give our pupils the, the skills and the tools that they need. Um, but as we said earlier, part of that is appropriate use of, of that. Um, and, you know, as educators, as, as a school leader, you know, one of my priorities is to make sure that it's, it's not overused, that it's not um, the one tool that, that we um, look at for educating. I think that in, as, as everything in life, it's a very powerful tool. In, uh, I'm just talking about education. Mm -hmm. Use in the proper direction, I guess the possibilities are endless. Use in the wrong direction. Uh, in some universities, they are having massive problems with cheating. So students are being expelled of universities because we are talking about uh, plagiarism. It's an it's an offence. Yeah. So I don't know. I think we are living very exciting times, but at the same time, uh, sometimes can be fri frightening. Sometimes I have the feeling that things are going far too fast. And I don't know, I wonder as well, obviously there will be more jobs created, but you will need to have a lot of skills probably to access to those jobs. I wonder what's going to happen for everybody who will be jobless. Uh, will, we, will we have enough money to, to train everybody again? Uh, I, I don't know, it's, 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 uh, it's quite concerning that, that side. AI software is here to stay. Currently, it is not going to replace the role of a teacher in the classroom, but who knows how it will even look in five years' time compared to the offerings available right now. Integrating AI into the education system in a meaningful way that ensures students receive the benefits requires educating users. After all, we can't keep up with the technology, but understanding it and learning from it will help us to learn how to ethically and socially interact with the software.